Mayhem versus Norfolk and Chance. So, once again, same players. Nothing's changed too much. Ping's a little high for Rim, but not too bad otherwise. Mythic rocking five. <laughs> He's at the server. Meanwhile, Cat rocking 200 ping. Got the ping shield on tap. Ready to rock and roll here. Let's follow Rim from the spawn here. See where he's going to go off to and where, what mayhem they're going to cause. Running it down with a flash, it looks like. First team rocking a pretty standard loadout. I believe everyone's rocking pretty much light armor. Yep, no armor equipped. Good to see. Interesting prenade set here for Bravo. Seeing it long ways across here. Throwing it long way up. Whoa, let's go over and see where that lands. That's going to land right in the interesting apartments arch. They get a little slow to the lane, so that will not be effective. We'll follow Rim here while he plays a dark. Trying to cross their mythic with the first kill there onto Matanj. As Ken on the other side here holds the line, holds the lane down, but no one's coming their way. Gargas on the side there. And how's the teammate, buddy? Guy and Garage are getting a little excited. Here's the player in upper apartments. Morty will take down Holy Foxfire topside in Balk. Meanwhile, Bled just kind of hanging out here in apartments, looking for the shot across there. Cargas and Rim, though, good flanking kills, but Bled will almost get that kill there as Cat will take down Sanctus. Huge play on the outside here. Sanctus really doing. Well, unfortunately, Sanctus is down, but Cat, especially, is doing a lot of damage here. Mythic here running in B here. Staying alive. Oh, but Cargrass will wall bang him there. T2, not the safe spot, but Rim will take down Cat with a flank up. It's a flanks on flanks. And now Bled, the last one alive. Let's see here. Rim holding on the top side here. Oh, a little bit of lag. Happens to everybody. Gonna go for the A play instead. This is actually a smart call. They're gonna give up Bravo. A lot of time to cap up B, though. The thing is, at the end of the round here, you're running for time, not just objective. It's good to get off A, but you, you gotta run off of Alpha. If he hard sticks A, they're gonna go for C and get the cap up. So this is a little risky of a play here. If he gets the kill, it should be good. Oh my goodness! Hit the shots, boom! Nicely done. We'll take down Rim. Cargrass will have to just sit here at B, but he needs to go run to Charlie ASAP. He gets the cap. You gotta run to Charlie, buddy. Making the run. He's gonna make a run for it. Technically, they already have Charlie Control, which means at the end of time, Insurgents, by being one alive, will come up clutch. One to zero to take the start of the round. Wow. They thought they had it. It was a 2v1. Should have been easy. Should have been taken care of. But instead, they went for the kill, and it was too late at the end of time there. Not having anyone not even touching Charlie, they gave up the round. Oh my goodness. That is an upset, if I've ever seen it. Security there just let go of that round. That is just <laughs> unfortunate, truly unfortunate here. So Mayhem get their first, first point on the board there. Not their first, but their first. And firstly, I got to say that was impressive to see here. These teams are looking pretty good, and especially Mayhem. Smart brain plays there. All the big brain plays coming out here. Smart to call. Again, when you're facing end of time like that, you may as well just go for the objective. There's no point in trying to fight out 2v1. But if you can win on objectives alone, leaving Charlie wide open. Oh my goodness. When you go for that kill, it's risky. And unfortunately, that bet did not pass up. And we could have got left Bravo and actually went for Charlie, which would have been a smart and interesting call. But Cat Meanwhile will get the kill on the Holy Foxfire in the next round here. When you're watching currently, Bled will get the wall bang on the Sanctus as Cargas takes on Morty with a nice nade kill. Bled will take down Rim. Good sign so far. And Surge is doing well on Bravo here. Getting the caps up, getting the mostly damage done here. Matanja trying to push from weeds. Ooh, he'll get one of the plant. He will be called out, though. Sitting out of arches. Yep, smart call to run out of their balcony. Kind of lost at this point. This apartment is locking in control. Mythic, we're going to run out to Bravo. Run right back on where his teammate was at. Going to hold the objective and go for the full cap up. Cargas now last alive. Oh, my goodness. He's going to come up clutch here. 5v1 for Cargas. The real question is, will the gas cargo... He's holding, waiting for spawns here. Smart call, but playing very passive in the back. Unfortunately, the optic there cost him his life. It's 2-0 to zero as Mayhem wreaks more mayhem on the Norfolk in chance. Oh, it's Emir. Thank you for the, uh, <laughs> thanks for the heads up on that one. It's Emir. All right, that's uh, player two there, of course, for Norfolk in chance. But right now, Insurgents are doing an interesting call here. They've got some interesting plays they're trying to do. Trying to play for Bravo. Security forces, though, are doing a great job of just kind of sticking, you know. They are sticking each spot, but also they're getting pre-fired a lot. They did lose bow control, which is pretty rough for security forces. You should be able to hold balcony pretty darn well. Like, it shouldn't be that hard to hold the objective. And I'll hold that area, at least. Excuse me. Not the, objective is a different story, because B is a tough one to hold. If security pre-fires it, it's really tough to run through. We're going to see if Norfolk and Chance are actually pre-firing the cross there. Because if they're not pre-firing Barber, they're giving away Bravo, which... 
you can do if you play for flanks, but let's see what they do. Okay, I hear some shots downrange. You see Rim going for cross there. Of course, he is uh, an interesting uh, single fire there. Matanja, sounds like, shooting across as well. Oh, they're going to run right through it. The smoke's going to stop them in their tracks. Glenn will take down Sanctus on the flank up. Tires is lost as Morty will take that Holy Fox fire with the Mac. He's just dropping him. He actually picked up the M16. That is devious. Mythic will take down Cargas in the meantime. Matanja now at weeds in a dangerous pickle here. He's going to be running out there. Morty will get the kill on the... Oh, it's Cat taking down Matanja ultimately. This is just a slaughter mayhem. Truly wreaking the mayhem here. 3-0. and oh. As Norfolk and Chance are just losing the flanks. Losing every side they're thinking of getting to. They're just getting locked out, man. They're getting locked out of the map. And this is a tough one to come back from. It, it is doable for them to actually bring it back. But this is going to be difficult. Right now, security forces are just... They're not getting the lanes in time. They're coming in late, which is fine. You can come in late as a, as a strategy. But not as an every every round strategy. Like, you've got to be fast on the draw. you got to go. And if you're not playing fast enough, the other team is going to take advantage of that. Run through your side and prevent you from even trying to play in your lanes. And they're losing a lot of flank ups from lanes being open or lanes not being played fast enough and losing shots. And that's that's tough, man. It's really tough to try and hold back areas and hold back positions to stay alive, let alone take the round. So you got to play in uh, aggressive. We'll follow Mythic here from spawn. Well, from uh, the uh, middle of the C Street there. We'll see where he opts to go. Holy Fox Fire, nice spray on onto Cat here. Gonna offer the top side. This is a good way to play tires. Gets the spray on the Matanj. Trying to go for tires. Gets a little tired of the Bravo play. Interesting call to Nade. Just didn't hear the kill. But uh, two each to the zone. Just for the pre fire there. We get good, good idea to wait in Porch. Oh, Sanctus will take down Glanton trying to run for Bravo. Smart call. But Bled will get the kill on the Sanctus trading. Mythic now goes for Bravo. Good call. Cargas will take down Morty trying to play out in Garage. They really played this uh, passively for Balkan uh, Garage Control. Worked out well for him as they over aggressed and kind of were overconfident, so that's a smart call. Thing is blood up top here. Ooh, he's in a good spot here to get some kills, but equally could cost him around here. Sits the kill into Porch. Nicely done. Balk now taking fire. He's getting fired from two different spots here, Arch and Balk. Of course, his B player can kind of cover, but should not be covering the side here. Oh, they run right into Bled's line of fire. Bled managed to survive the fire there from this upper side. <laughs> Trying to no clip. Good try there. Amir will take down Mythic in Bravo. Clears it up for him. Unfortunately, Bled just had to kind of look out of the way and just couldn't keep him alive. That is, does indeed happen. Amir now trying to wait for the spawn in Barber. He will be able to get one from spawn of Glenn. Can he get two though? Oh, Barber's watching it, but he will escape. Oh my. Amir, the last one alive, just proving to be a little devious fella. Unfortunately, uh, Bled there didn't quite see the player, so bit of a skill issue there if I uh, say so myself. It's still it's a tough spot to see, though, to be fair. But uh, yeah, he did miss the player. Amir now on Bravo. Yep, upper bow, or upper apartments takes him out. That's going to be the round going to Mayhem. Good attempt there from Amir, but unfortunately, just not enough. Good try, good try. But it is a tough one against a team like Mayhem that are they're geared up, they're lined up, they're ready to go. They have the strategy figured out. They know how they want to play this. They are very confident on this map. And Norfolk and Chance, I haven't seen it yet. I, I'm waiting for them to kind of show up. They, they've done a little bit here and there. They've won, a, they've, they've, They've kind of played a couple spots, but let's let's follow you know let's follow one of the players. Let's follow someone on Norfolk and Chance. Let's follow Sanctus. Let's see where he's going. We saw last round that we had the player on tires that was Mythic, playing passive in the back, played a really really good angle. It's kind of cheap, but hey, it works. You know, it's, it's, that's allowed within the game as far as I know. Uh, that does work. But let's see what Sanctus is doing. Last time they played very passive in the back, over in the middle of the street here, waiting for the garage push up, which did work. Until they started losing one by one on uh, flames there. Goes for the molly there. Can we get the pre-fire there on the Holy Fox fire? Not a great start, but let's see what happens here. Playing passive in the garage for B? I mean, that's a way of staying alive, but... The only thing is, he's uh, exposed from the other side here. He's exposed from anyone pushing garage. Which, he has the Molotov in theory to stop that, but... It went a little too far there. It might hear the call, but they don't even have to get that close. They can just lean around the corner and get him. Probably got to take down Morty in the meantime. And Amir are actually taking down Bled. Here comes Amir running out of uh, apartments, clearing it up. Now here comes Tires, pre fire across there. Ah, oh, the player prone will take him out. You hear the bellets bopping off the tires here. Matanja sprays and doesn't have to pray. He takes down Mythic. Oh, but Glanton trades just as quickly over there in the archway. Near Barbary. Now Cat going for the push up. We go Balker Garage is the call to make. Does he have to go for the push? No, they're going to actually go for B. 2v2 is dead even. 
Hourglass with his big optic. Fortunate that optic is kind of a uh, hindrance. For those who don't know, it's a uh, optics usually block your line of sight, and they're a little slower to aim on sight. Thanks to shooting a little early, a little high, but he gets the kill on the Glanton. It's now down to Cat, who gets the flank up onto Cargas. It's now 1v1. Sanctus V Cat, who's coming up. Big grenade on himself. Cat's lagging out. Oh my goodness, he managed to escape. Will the grenade take him? No, it doesn't. Sanctus stays alive. Cat, meanwhile, down below here. He's going to hear the player running down. Takes him out of boogie spot. Cat comes out on top. Wins the clutch and keeps the momentum for his team. 3 0 for the player. 5 0 for Mayhem. My, oh my, here we are. A really good clutch attempt there from Norfolk and Chance. They had a good idea, good strategy there. Cat coming up big, 2v1. That is going to be huge to the uh, mor morale for Norfolk and Chance, but I hope they don't give up just yet. They still got a, six more rounds at least before they can at least get a round on the board and get and bring it back to them. But this is maybe, maybe you, know, you know what? Maybe it's just their weak side. It's total, it happens, right? Some people just... They don't like playing a certain side. They may be a little bit weaker on the spot. It's kind of tough to hold. Maybe that's just the case that's going on here. Just saying. It might just be the case. So we've saw that before. We'll follow Cargas. I don't think we saw Cargas. Indeed, rocking the full <laughs> optic there. I, I, I have to rust him a little bit, but to be fair, Sandstorm, you need that for the, for the range you're fighting at. This is a little bit closer. You can use irons. But to each their own, of course. Everyone has their personal preference. I am not one to complain. But we do see now the similar strategy coming out for security. Really focus on that apartment's push out. Our guess, interesting nade for balcony. Ends up kind of biffing it. That happens. Mythic, meanwhile, holds that barrel. Latanj will take down Glanton. Good start. Cat will take down a mirror in the meantime. Looks like Bled's just kind of holding this B objective really well up top here. Oh, but holy foxfire. Nice shot from Dark. We'll take down upper windows there. But what will Cat do? Cargas will take down Morty. Trying to play out there. This is working actually really in favor for Norfolk and Chance. Playing a slow, playing a smooth. Just staying alive. Be being baited by Insurgents. They're taking a good spot here. Going to catch some players out on rotations. There we go. Matanj going down. Good smoke as well for the B objective. Nate close. Sanctus will take down Mythic. It's all down to Cat to clutch. Once again, the Cat's got his claws in three to come up big. Here's at least one player outside. He's going to go for Alpha instead. Again, will they fall prey to the same mistake they did last time? Giving up, you know, holding on for beat control, and then maybe playing late scene. Holy Fox Fire. They need to go to Charlie. They they need to go to Charlie. They're running out of time. They're capping up B. They're double capping it, which is good. But they really need to run to Charlie. And it looks like Holy Fox Fire from up in apartments, which is a long way around, is making his way to Charlie. That's what we need to see. There we go. Fantastic. No, he's What where is Holy Fox Fire going? He's running a he ran a loop. Is he gonna make it in time? Cat will take down one of Cargas. He makes it at the last second. He will get on to stop the cap up. They almost lost that. Cat taking fire. And Cat is taken down. And right now, we have a hell of a fire here for Holy Fox Fire. He will truly be going through the Holy Fox Fire here in a second. Here goes the shot of one and almost two. Will he take shots from behind? Now he'll stay alive for now. Trying to dodge, but Morty denies. Charlie now has to be decapped and Alpha already being decapped means they will win. Oh, they're going to cap up Bravo in time, but they got on Bravo. Oh, no, but they get Alpha, but not Bravo. Oh, but Ymir takes down Bled. Glenn's still holding on. Glenn, the last chance for this team here. They got to keep him alive. Glenn's got to come up big here and survive against all odds. Did you hear him prone? The answer is no. Glenn will take down Emir. And now security forces late to be... They're about to be over here. Sanctus has to hurry and get this kill ASAP. And no, he dies. That's the round B and C. Morty gets one as well. It's a total slaughter as Morty gets two from the top side. But at the last second, Cargas gets on B. Oh my goodness. All the fire in the world. This is going to stop Cargas as he gets the last kill and comes up big in the end. One to five for Norfolk and Chance. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The man has absorbed all of the ammo possible and somehow stayed alive with the last bullet. If he had one more bullet, he would have died. R literally just peppering the guy. Like, he was he, he, he was barely alive, but it was enough to secure the win. That was amazing. <laughs> Wall bank kills are just they're easy to do with the wrong weapon. Ain't going to happen, Chief. And that was... Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. 
Wow, what what a way for Norfolk and Chance to win a round, and what a round it was. But now, as we get around to the next one, we'll follow Amir here. Going for the nade across to Bravo. Where in Bravo do you go? You go for the nade in apartment. Cat up top here, better watch out. Nope, nowhere near. Running a long way around. Uh, interesting call. I'm not sure why playing that passive in the back is going to be worth it. But, you know, two weeks in a row, they're actually double apartments. Really? Th that is an interesting call. Um, Sanctation, a little, a little high, but also Spectator Bug, so that's normal. Interesting call. Oh, Bled, though. Nice pickup on the Sanctus over there in the porch. Oh, and Bled will then take down Foxfire. The holiest of Foxfires. Morty on the flank up trying to stop it from happening. And Meter's trying to shoot across in a barber. He can't quite see it. Looking for a haircut. Will he get it? It's close. Bled. Another one for Bled. And Glanton taking down Amir. It's down just Matanj. Will he watch out for Barber? Or is he about to get a cut a little too close? Looks like that player is going to rotate off of there. Going to go for the flat play. B and shoots. Oh, so high. The gun block is real. It's another round for Mayhem now. Six to one. If I can click the button right. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Apologies. Wow. After the last round there, Bled rocking the four. I'm sorry, I missed that. 4K for Bled? He just, dude, he bled the team dry. Oh my goodness. Norfolk and Chance had a little bit of a lead up and now we're back down. <laughs> Unfortunate. But let's see what, you know what? Who are we clicking on? We're clicking on Bled. Uh, we're going to, we're going to see what Bled can do. Because that was some utter mayhem, utter madness. Oh my goodness. Let's see what he does here. Waiting for his, oh, he's lagging. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. Let's follow what Bled does. So Mayhem are opting for a very heavy apartment strategy call. It's an interesting one. The delay, I can understand it to avoid prenates and stuff, but... Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense now. All of a sudden, why you don't do the uh, normal strategy there, because the Holy Foxfire pre-fire there took down Cat. Like Catnip. Utterly destroying it. Push Bravo! Oh my goodness, the caster's curse! And Mirror will take down Bled, and Morty will take down Holy Foxfire with the flank up. Hargas will take down Glandon and Mythic. Clearing out tires, Sanctus aiming across toward that upper side of Belk. Looking to serve up some balcony, hot and fresh. As a teammate to his right, he's looking the wrong way. Morty with the flank up. They didn't call that Morty was over there. Bit of a miscommunication of his Matanj. Still looking at B, looking at his teammates. Mythic will take down Cargas in the meantime. Oh, Mythic. Playing in kitchen, cooking up something good. He's got a long way to go. And Mir still holding out in Cubby. Waiting for the push down from Apartments, where Mythic is at. Blame with the ping. The old default. Bravo currently uncontested. No one touching the objective yet. The round will go to stalemate mode. Where it'll just sit there until someone gets either all the kills or the objectives caps. So it will hold on. So if the team decides to slow down and really play this slow, it, we're going to be sitting here for a while. We could be sitting here for quite a while here. Mythic committed to the nade on balcony. Interesting call. Matanj getting the B cap started. Nice to see. He has Amir and Cubby. Not the greatest spot to hold from because upper balcony can get an easier shot. It's yeah, You can kind of cover it, but uh, it's a little tough. You also have a little bit better coverage for Arch. But if they push their Arch, yeah, here we go. Easy call. Okay, you see him on Alpha. That means you go to Charlie, which means the other teammate. You're Morty going for the spawn. Hold on. Morty spawn camp. Uh-oh. That's one on a car gas. The other two will escape through the school. Will they, though? No a free shot across there, but no actual damage yet. Mythic just holding on for the cap up. Good play for C. This can actually work out in their favor. If they get the C cap in time, they double it. Matan should be getting on Charlie. Good. They're double capping C. This could be effective. Hold on. Hold on. They're going to go for A as well. Even if they get B control, if they lose A control as well, there's no way they can hold this. This is working out really well. They get the C cap up. Sure, they may lose Bravo, but the A cap now, this is working out well. Playing to the odds, and Meter will take down Glanton from spawn there. Bled getting into Bravo. F oh, Charlie, excuse me. Fast. Mythic will take down Holy Foxfire. They hold off the A cap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bled on Charlie. Oh, but Amir. Huge play. They take down Cat and rotates in and takes down Bled. And now Mythic and A will take down Sanctus. One player danger close. Can he hear it behind him? No, he ain't ready as Morty caps up B at the end of time. Everything's on fire and the play is made at A. They have to clear Charlie. And right now there is only one player to defend it. They, there is, frankly, there's nobody to defend it. Uh, they're capping up A. They have to just play for B. They need to go to Bravo. They can, they can, they can cap Charlie. Sure, 
but you got to control Bravo. And Bravo's held by one player. Morty coming in from behind. Cargas caps up Alpha. Go for the knife kill. Oh, he really went for the knife kill. Oh, the bloody battles. And he loses it. That's unfortunate. Glanton will get the uh, revenge kill there onto Amir. A, a valiant fight, I say. But, uh, <laughs> well, what a way to end the round. C and B both cap that and Oh, but at the last second, he gets the kill on the... Cargas sneaks on the last second when Mythic kills him. Ends the round. <laughs> what a crazy round there. <laughs> Mayhem. Coming out on top, 7-1. to one. A valiant knife fight at B, I will say. Truly honorable. Both weapon, both men put down their weapons, pulled out their knives, and went at it. And I, I, I give full respect for that. <laughs> Truly amazing to see there. And just a back and forth battle here. Again, objective captures, because of how close these objectives are, you can really make that run down, and you can actually make it. Winning the objective, winning the map, this is what Insurgency is about, and this is what this map especially is about. All these maps have good close quarters combat, but this one especially has such good sight lines, such good lanes. This is this is Insurgency. In my opinion, this is Insurgency, and this is why I love this game. We'll follow Glanton here from Spawn here, running out. Well, from uh, Barber, at least taking some shots there from Holy Fox Fire, but the fire doesn't burn him just yet. Free fire there over on the upper side here. Oh, but no, the Fox Fire will actually be up top there in dark. He makes it a dark day for Glanton, as Morty will take down Sanctus in the meantime, but the flank from behind, huge play here. Cat and Mythic getting wiping out in security forces here. Follow the Radiant Porch. Morty here, big play in Garage, just kind of got the flank up and got the kill. Holy Foxfire trying to stay alive here. Taking shots from all over. Amir so far back that it's not really in the round. Like, it, uh, yeah, you're kind of holding it, but this is too much to hold for one person. There's no way you're going to hold A and S3 simultaneously. Like, no one's got, unless you got 110 FOV or you got you know, two players with two monitors are trying to control, like, simultaneously. No way, dude. Even then, no way. Holy Foxfire will take down Bled, but it's not over yet. Kind of running into Charlie, or B, excuse me. Oh, but Holy Foxfire, Nade killing the Mythic. Good to see. Holy Foxfire now getting on to B-Cap. But Morty should clear this out. Easily takes down Holy Foxfire from behind. And indeed, takes the round. That is 8 to 1. But no fucking chance. Still fighting hard. This ain't over yet. This is not over yet in the slightest. Both teams here fighting hard. Fighting for the win here. No fucking chance. They've got a better chance. <laughs> Fun intended. Then they did earlier in the round there. We saw just an utter destruction really, really early on. North Fucker Chance have arrived. This is the last round of the half, of course, which means it is do or die time. They've got one more round. We're seeing them kind of come back. This is getting very interesting. <laughs> Amir running the knife. The knife, in case you didn't know, does not actually make you run faster. It makes you look like a noob, which is intentional for some people. It is, it is fun to watch people run around with a knife. Or to get a lot of kills, run out with a knife and watch people run out with a knife thinking it's faster than get mowed down. It's kind, of, it's kind of funny. It's In a mean way, it's kind of funny. I I, I, uh, I enjoy that. Good nade here. To jump flag. and throw. Looks like that is a good old binded grenade throw. And it will get the kill on the cat. Cat, unfortunately, there, just not... Right meow, it's just not a good spot for him, man. It really just isn't. But Amir here in the dark window. Looking for a dark day for the insurgents. Morty, though. Ooh, up in balcony here. This could be good. A little dangerous, though. He wins the battle against Holy Foxfire. A little too aggressive there. If he just waited a little bit more patient, probably would have gotten the kill in the Morty and would have stopped the flank up here. The problem is, Dark Window, that was Amir, could actually push out here and take down a lot of Bravo, but out of control, almost all of the apartments is lost. The entire team is flooded apartments heavy. They're gone for a big B play here. Amir taking shots, but we'll take down Bled. We'll survive for now, but Sanctus has to push out a porch. Goes for the shot at Barrel, no luck, as Mythic will get the kill. Oh, Morty shoots a little high there, but Amir will survive. Will he survive for long? Glenn now going for the push-up in Porch. Maybe going on those stairs towards the boogie spot? No, Amir's going to rotate out of the way. He's making a lot of noise on the slide, though, in the movement, so it's a little bit risky here. Glenn could get the flank up and kill here. Let's see what happens. He's going for Spawn. Gets one, but will he get two? He will get both kills from Spawn. Nicely played there by Amir. Can he keep it going? 20 seconds remaining. Time is running out. Flank up from behind. It looks like... No, they're going to go for A. Smart call. They already have the objective for B and C. So even if he gets the kill onto their... Blanton shoots a little, a little late there, bud. A little late. Oh, my goodness. How did that not hit almost? Oh, my goodness, Glanton. Let me talk about your aim. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Amir, huge play there. Trying to come up big. He's doing what he can. He's got the team on his shoulders. 17-11, but just not enough. Blood asking Amir to die. 
Don't worry, he did it for you, bud. Nine to one at the end of the half. Wow. Just wow, just wow, frankly. Oh my goodness. Now, with that all being said, <laughs> let's talk about it. Oh, wrong buttons. Uh, boom, boom, and there we go. Okay. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, what just happened? Um, we just saw what was indeed a slaughter in the first half there. The first half of the first half, the quarter, if you will, of Norfolk and Chance just being just pounded, messel, just, just, just gone. But at the last second there, Norfolk and Chance, they flip the switch, they're turning it on. The score may not show it, but they're looking really good, and they're already in the match. They are so excited, they just want to go, you know? They really do just want to go. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Come on, cast. Come on, there we go. Okay. OBS is a little slow today. That's okay. It will be just fine for the matchup here and now. Falling car gas now will swap sides. Powerful can chance now on the right. Mayhem on the left. The mayhem being conducted here is stupendous. Had your nice long shots across, but Holly Fox probably got the first clear onto Morty. Shots down range here. Really a big heavy apartments play here. This is all the power is in apartments and Glanton at the barrel. Could be good here actually for the shot there, but Cat will take down Holy Foxfire with that Mark 18. The classic. But Amir will take down Mythic. That's a good sign of things to come, but not always a guarantee. But Sanctus, though, will get the kill onto Cat. Dare I say catastrophic. Oh, did he spot the player in apartments? He did, but he's not shooting. Blight will get the wall bang on the Matange, but not the kill across. Oh, a nice little grenade there. Watch out, buddy. Oh, he escapes it, and he escapes the fire. But Sanctus is coming in from behind here, from the tire side. It was open. He's going through ice cream. Is he going to go for Alpha? No, he's going to go, uh... He's thinking about it. He's going to go Alpha instead. Fair enough. Glenn will get the nade kill there on the car gas. Nicely done there. But he's traded by Amir just as quickly. B will stay alive and stay on for Bravo. It's like Glenn. He gets the wall back on the Sanctus. Oh, no. 1v1. This is going to be dangerous. Will it be in the favor of Mayhem? Or will it be Norfolk and Chance getting another round on the board? It's close, but it's going to be Norfolk and Chance. Coming up big on Bravo, Amir. The team is on his shoulders. 20 and 11. Dropping the 20 bomb. Despite being on a side that most would consider much more difficult. Well played, of course. This is insurgency. This is an amazing set here. A surprise play for sure, but a ultimately a successful one. Good attempt for Bravo and well, good attempt by uh, security there for Bravo. But unfortunately for them, Insurgents came out on top there, man. And they is built different. Wow. And here we are. We'll follow Cargas because he likes to go. As gas does indeed make cargo. <laughs> Just like escargos. Oh, yeah, that was pretty bad. Anyways, we'll go ahead and jump out of here. Oh boy. He, he hit his head in the jump there. Bit of a skill issue, but you know what? It comes with time. Once you do it enough, you'll get to that pretty quick. It'll become Musel memory. Good pre-fire across there, but no pre-fires in balcony. There again, they're focused on apartments. They're not super. Not like they're not watching it, but they're not super like expecting a push there. Mythic will take down Sanctus. Good start. Gets the shot into blood there. I don't even. I don't even see over there. Cat will take down Holy Fox Fire in front of apartments. He had to run out of the way because they are just pushing him fast and hard. Ain't gonna matter though. Morty will take down Matanja in the meantime. Bravo. Giving up most of control here. Security will take it for now. But Cargas could go in for the flank up. Indeed, rock and water. And Mir trying to put this up. But from behind, Cat will get the kill. Actually shot across there from all the way in apartments. Cargas is going to run off of the apartment. Or run off off of Balk and then go for an arch to B. Yeah, this could be good. The problem is upper apartments. Oh, nice kill from Cargas. Uh, I like the high up of B. But nice kill as well on a Cat. Oh, it's turning out catastrophic here for Mayhem. Will he dodge the shots? Coming alive here. Flash. Oh, this is a little high, bud. That's going to flash himself. Yeah, that was a little silly there, bud. But, you know, that's how you learn. Morty was also flashed, to be fair. And he managed to escape. That is that is also fair. <laughs> Half baits it. Good call. They're expecting him still over there. Which means when he goes in for the flank or goes for Alpha instead. Oh, they're not ready for it. They still think he's at B somewhere. They see he's off. That means, uh-oh, he's at Alpha. They're already capping up Charlie. Good call. They're going to have to go for Alpha here. They have to decap here. He's running off. This is a, this is a very aggressive call. But this is actually a very, very good one. Now, mind you, he only got a little bit capped on there, which means he knows they're at B. 
They already have beat control. They already had that objective down, which means at this point, Mythic, it, it's basically just kind of information more than anything else. The thing is, he's running out of time. They're going to have BC control. He gets on Bravo at the last second, which is big, but Morty comes up bigger. A good attempt there by Cargas to clutch it, but just not enough mayhem. Secures another round on the board and match point 10. Oh, 10. <laughs> not 19. 10 to 0. Well, 10 to 2, excuse me. Not 10 to 0. Oh my goodness. Norfolk a chance. If that happened, I'd be, I'd cry a little bit. Cargas, dude, he did the best he could, man. That was a really tough one to clutch. To clutch. Really good attempt there by Cargas and the rest of Insurgents to kind of hold on there. They lost their flanks. They lost their sides. Trying to come up with something big there at the end. Really, really tough. They had good apartments control. Good beat control. Falk is a weird one. It has more of an A-side focus, where if you hold it, you kind of have better control. But because it's, generally speaking, a little bit weaker, it seems, for control of the map here, you have better control of A Street from Ice Cream and from Dark. Like, you have kind of beat control, but not super good beat control. You'll see the right player, too, playing that to actually get the advantage of that. So it's not always a given. They don't every team has that advantage on their side. But an interesting smoke for Bravo. Fall Holy Fox Fire here through the sides. He manages to dodge the pre-fire. No pre-fire. At least goes for the shot, but Kent will win the battle. Goes for two, but Matanj will get the trade-up at least. But Morty on the other side here in Garage. He will get the kill on the one. Oh, but from Apartments. Stays alive for now. They actually play passive? Interesting call there from Mythic. Up there to him. But immediately will take him down. In the meantime, Bled will take down Matanj. Amir here now going for Bravo. Slow and steady. The balcony kind of being covered pretty well. Garage as well. Oh, Amir, he missed it. And Morty didn't miss his. Takes down Bravo. But Sanctus now, what, is he ready for Arch? No, he's aiming across the porch. He could go for the double peek up, but what is Bled doing? He's going for Charlie. Good call. Here's the thing. Charlie call is a little bit of a strange one, but here's why. This is why it's effective. This now means that Sanctus has to leave his little hidey hole up there and go for the play at B. He may get the kill on the Morty, which is good. But... He can't just cap Bravo and win the round. He has to go for the battle at sea. And as you'll come to see, most players don't play Charlie very much. They very rarely do. Do you know the timings of it? Uh, maybe, maybe not. A little delayed here. He'll get the cap at the last second. Oh, and Bled will bleed the team dry for the win. It's 11-2 to 2 at the end of time. GG's well played. And with that, we end today's game.